Hello everyone today I will talk about quick inventory of depressive symptomology or QIDS for short. QIDS is a new measure of depressive symptom severity derived from the 30 item inventory of depressive symptomatology IDS. This assessment is available in format self-report and clinician rated. Purpose of QIDS are to measure overall severity of the depressive syndrome and improve available clinician and patient ratings. Next, QIDS can be a patient self-reported and clinician rated for the type of assessment. Components being assessed are a 1, sad mood 2, concentration 3, self-criticism 4, suicidal ideation 5, interest 6, energy, fatigue 7, sleep disturbance 8, level of appetite and weight and 9, agitation or retardation of psychomotor. QIDS can be used for people who have chronic major depression, major depression disorder, bipolar disorder, psychotic disorder or schizophrenia, depressive disorders and asthma. However, it cannot be used for people who have no insight, patient with severe mental disorder and not stable and patient who is unable to read. Administration procedure. Patients should be instructed to take their time, read each item carefully, read all the possible responses, and choose the item response 0, 1, 2, or 3 that best describes themselves over the last seven days. If patient is not able to confidently read the self-report versions, substituted to the clinician-rated structured interview versions, or the self-report can be read to the patient to assist him or her. This assessment can be conduct five to seven minutes. Don't forget to remind the patient to answer either question 6 or 7, not both, and 8 or 9, not both. Hello and Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Uh, how are you today? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Okay, so I am Kratul Aini, uh, your therapist today. So first of today's session is I want to measure the severity of your depression. Take your time, read each item carefully, read all the possible responses, and choose the item response which is 0, 1, 2, or 3 that best describe your feelings over the last 7 days. Remember, okay? Last 7 days. So uh, this questionnaire consists of 16 questions, and I want you to answer all the questions. But for question 6, 7, 8, and 9, you have to answer either 6 or 7 and either 8 or 9. If you have any question, you can ask me. So you can answer now. For the scoring procedure, record the scoring based on entering the highest score on any one of the four sleep items question 1 to 4. Item 5, enter the highest score on any one of the appetite or weight items 6 to 9. Item 10, item 11, item 12, item 13, item 14, enter the highest score on either of the two psychomotor items 15 and 16. Sum up all together and the total score range from 0 to 27. From this example, the scoring is 3 for the highest score for the sleep items. The score is 2 for highest score on the appetite or weight item. The score is 1 for highest score on psychomotor items. Scoring interpretation. A score of 0 to 5 shows no severity. 6 to 10 shows mild severity. 11 to 15 shows moderate severity. 16 to 20 shows a severe severity. 21 to 27 shows very severe of severity. Psychometric properties. Reliability. Internal consistency. Item total correlation for all nine domains was 0.6 which indicates strong. High internal consistencies were found for the QIDS self-report 16, 0.86, and QIDS C16, 0.85, among patients with major depressive disorder and QIDS D16, 0.81, scores among patients with bipolar disorder. Validity. Content. 
The IDSS, R, IDSC, QIDSS, R, and QIDSC include items that rate the nine item symptom domains used to define AMDD. Criterion, convergent. The QIDSS, R16, R equals 0.85, and HRSD17 total scores, R equals 0.97, high correlations. The QIDSS, R16 and the IDSS R30, R equals 0.96, HRSD17, R equals 0.81, HRSD21, R equals 0.82, and HRSD24, R equals 0.84, high correlations. The QIDSS, R16 and the CDSS, R equals 0.44, and the PANSS subscale for emotional distress, R equals 0.47, moderate correlations. Advantages. Easy to administer and not time-consuming. Available in many language. Useful in determining a patient level of depression before, during, and after treatment. Highly acceptable psychometric properties, which supports the usefulness of this brief rating of depressive symptom severity in both clinical and research settings. Disadvantages. Client may under-overestimate their performance or feelings for the past seven days.